If you're wanting to clean your luxury vinyl plank floors, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to clean them and also the product you should be using. And it's the Shaw Floors Hard Surface Flooring Cleaner. Let me tell you, this stuff is great. I use this on all LVP flooring that I clean. Now, you're not going to find this at your big box stores. You're probably going to have to order it. I order mine through Amazon. But it's a very economical cleaner and it is a very powerful cleaner. It's probably the best LVP cleaner that I've ever used. And when we get into the cleaning, I'm going to show you why. The first thing I'm going to do is thoroughly sweep the floor. I'm going to be using a dust mop here because this flooring is installed in a commercial building. Now it's the same LVP flooring that you could have installed in your home. It just happens to be set in a commercial location. But I'm going to use a dust mop simply because there's a lot of floor here to be swept. You could use a regular broom or even a microfiber mop if you want to sweep it up. But I do want to warn you against using anything that has a scrub action to it, like a vacuum cleaner with a beater bar or any type of the floor scrubbers that are out there because those things will wear into the top finish of the LVP flooring. And once you use those several times on the floor, it's gonna start dulling out and you're never gonna have it look good again. There's no fix for that. And another thing is, this floor is Shaw. It's made by Shaw. And Shaw says that you cannot use any type of scrubber like that on the floor or it'll void the warranty. So if you have a problem with your floor and they send an inspector out to look at it and they see that you've used something like that, you're not going to be covered on the warranty. So that's definitely something to think about. Some companies that clean LVP, they actually use like floor machines like buffers and things like that. But all that in the end can void the warranty and cause problems with the, the top coat of your floor. So I don't recommend using anything like that. To apply the cleaner, we're going to be using some microfiber swivel mops. And we're going to be using the flat side, not the blue fluffy side. Now these work pretty good for getting down into the textured surface of your LVP floors. I actually prefer a, a regular flat mop, but unfortunately I didn't have any for this job because they were all in my carpet cleaning trailer. But at the same time, these work just as well. They're just not quite as big, so I have to make a few more passes with it. But these are very inexpensive. You can get them. I know one of these for sure came from Sam's Club, uh, Walmart, or anything like that. But they work really well, and you can rewash the pads on them and use them over and over again. I've diluted my cleaner down one ounce of cleaner to 32 ounces of water. It's a very, very concentrated and powerful product, so you don't need a lot of it to do a really good job, even on moderately to heavily soiled floors. The directions say to spray a four by four area and then clean it using your microfiber or whatever type of mop you're using. And this is about a four by four area, but normally what I do is I'll spray the cleaner. Sometimes it's bigger than four by four. And I'll start on one side with the microfiber mop and then work my way across and then work my way back again. I may go over it a few extra times on here just for the purposes of the video, but you'll see I generally spray that area, work from one side to the other and then back over it. It's really subjective on to just how much you want to put down. Um, it, the, the floor, like this floor, this floor is a heavily used floor and it's not taking a whole lot of the product to really get into the floor and into the little grooves that are in the surface of it to get it cleaned. Now, most of the time, I prefer to work with the grain of the floor. It's not always possible, and right here I've kind of worked myself into a corner, so I'm not always gonna be doing it like that. And in the end, I think either way, it's it works pretty good. I just prefer to try to go with the grain when possible to try to get into those those little nooks and crannies in the floor.
A couple points I wanted to make about this product. I've had some customers ask me about anything that could make the floor shine. And unfortunately, I don't know of any good quality product to do that. And this Shaw floor cleaner will not add any shine to the floor. It's a little shiny here where it's still damp and you can see the light coming through the windows. But once it's dry, it will leave absolutely no shine. And the other point is, unlike a lot of the cheaper products, this floor cleaner will leave absolutely no sticky residue on your floor. And that's a big plus, and it's also a big complaint that I've heard from a lot of people that the cleaners that they use end up having that sticky residue, causing it to attract dirt over time. So all this product, does is cleans and it cleans really really well so i just didn't want anyone to think that they were going to be able to get a good shine or anything like that after it's dry but as you can see right here this is the amount of dirt that i've picked up in just a really small area so the product works really really well if you have a really heavy spot that's really stuck on pre-spray that spot and let it sit for four or five minutes and that'll make all the difference in how easy it comes up and then you can just scrape it up with something like a plastic spatula. I use this attached to a mop handle and it's real flexible so it won't damage the floor and it'll come right off. I'm gonna show me cleaning up a few more spots that are on this floor. These are actually kitchen spots, so I don't know if it's coffee or drinks or what, but I think you've got a pretty good idea so far on just how easy it is to maintain and clean your LVP floors and just what products you need. Basically, the Shaw hard flooring cleaner, a microfiber mop, and a spray bottle. And really that's it. And it'll keep your floors looking good. And even more than that, it'll help them last longer because you're not constantly grinding in the grit and the sand and everything else every time you walk on those floors. So that's a big thing in how long your floors are gonna last. But I wanna show you the two microfiber mops we use. Obviously one of them already has a gray pad so you can't tell as much on it. But this is the dirt that we dug out of the flooring. So now you know what to do, you know how to do it. And as always, I appreciate you watching. And if this video helped you, please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll do more videos like this.